Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be starting a reading vlog. So I have a Once Upon a Book Club book box and the book for that is The Haunting of Leigh Harker. So this is going to be the primary book that I'm reading throughout this reading vlog and discussing with you guys. I'm also very excited to go through this box. This is orange colored because it's a Halloween edition box that I have had for quite a while. It's not Halloween, I know, but what else is new? I'm getting to books very late. Anyways, so this is the one where you open different gifts on different page numbers. So there's three gifts in here. I have one for page 314, one for page 83, and one for page 89. So two of these are going to be very close together. But this one is like bundled in this big bag, so I'm really curious to find out what this is. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm also excited because this is like a horror book. Well, horror thriller. It's dealing with the paranormal, I'm assuming. So I hope it's good. I haven't read a book like this in a while. I am already on page 26, as you can see my bookmark in here. Um, I just picked it up quickly yesterday and read two chapters of it. So far, it's very atmospheric and very eerie. Um, if I was the main character and my life was like this, even though we're only two chapters in, I'd be out of there. Like, no. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I'm looking forward to reading more about this character and their creepy house and see what happens going forward. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it and I will do some more check-ins with you guys later. Also, we were a little busy this weekend because we are starting to foster another cat. So you might see him at some point in the reading vlog as well. But yeah, anyways, I'll check in with you guys later. You're looking so cute. <laughs> Why don't you curl your legs? Okay guys, so new vantage point from the armrest of the couch. Um, I am up to page 85 of The Haunting of Leigh Harker. And so far, it is very haunting. Um, it literally jumps right into it as soon as you start the book. And this this woman's going through it, I'll tell you that. I like If I was in her position at this point, I would be gone. I would not be in this house anymore. Mind you, she doesn't, she kind of wants to, like, fight back against this, like, a presence that, well, we don't even know if it's a presence. We really don't know what it is. Like, she could be insane for all we know, but she wants to kind of, like, save her house because she has lived in this house for over 10 years now. Like, it's her home, and so she doesn't want to leave it. I'm just saying if I was in her situation and I thought that supernatural, like, stuff was going down... I'd be out of there because I don't mess around with that. <laughs> but anyways, so at the end of this chapter, I got to the little post-it note here, and this is the gift for page 83. So the things that they were talking about at this point in the book are, I think this is either going to be a dark blue candle because she made reference to that, but she also was making reference to like, salt a lot so I was thinking it could also be like salt and pepper shakers but I don't really think there's anything else because the only other thing that she was talking about was a flashlight and I don't think this is like the size of a flashlight it doesn't feel like a flashlight to me so I'm gonna open it and see what it is I'm kind of hoping it's a candle because I'm definitely like if you guys know me you know I'm a candle person and I like to smell stuff so I'm hoping that's what it is but I don't know. We'll find out. It's taped very well, which is good. Okay, so not a candle. <laughs> we have, what is this? Natural bath salt. So this is a jar of, it looks like, like Himalayan rock salt to me. It says Whispering Forest Natural Bath Salt. Ing oh, ingredients. Himalayan salt, dead sea salt, coarse sea salt, and Epsom salt. So yeah, just a jar of bath salt. So I was like, I was kind of on the right track, but 
Not exactly. I was on the salt track, but I wasn't thinking this. I wonder, let's see how it smells. Yeah, it smells like salt. <laughs> but that's cool. Um, I'm probably gonna have to give this to somebody though because I can't fit in bathtubs. So <laughs> that's cool. I'll, I might give this to my mom. So mom, if you're watching this, you might be getting some Himalayan bath salt. So yeah, the next post-it in the book is actually on page 89, which is only four pages away from where I am right now. So you guys are probably going to be seeing me very soon. And then, <laughs> yeah, I'll open another gift. And then the, the last gift I think is on page 314. So then you won't see another gift until then, but I will have like other little clips here and there for the reading vlog and maybe introduce you to somebody that's in the house right now. So I'll catch you guys later. Okay, so I told you guys I'd be back pretty quickly and uh, hey, I'm back. <laughs> I have read another five pages and so she's still going through it because it's practically the exact same scene. Um, I have a feeling there was another little post-it and so this is the shape of the next one. Really cool boxes too, eh? Look at this. Like all the creepy hands and stuff on it. I love how, that they put like extra work into like their packaging as well. But I have a feeling that this one is gonna be a candle now because in the scene that I just read, a bunch of candles were blown out. And so I like I have a very strong feeling this is gonna be a candle. There was also a description of like these creepy like porcelain cats that were like on a little nightstand table thing. But I mean, I'd be okay with that too. Creepy cats are fun, but I, I think this is gonna be a candle. So let's find out what it is. Get this tape off. If you guys hear meowing, that is the new guest in this household, so yeah, we'll see if he comes over here. Okay, I got the tape off. It's a candle, a very creepy one at that. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this candle. It literally looks like blood is dripping off of it. It doesn't really smell like anything. Like, I don't think it really has a scent. But this is a very creepy, <laughs> very creepy candle. Um, perfect for Halloween, or if you just want, like, creepy vibes in the house, then why not have a bloody dripping looking candle. So yeah, that's really cool. This is actually like pretty much the exact candle that was like just described in the book. So it feels really cool that like it's kind of brought to life and is here now. Anyways, I'm going to continue reading this book and I will update you as I go. I'll give you more updates because the next gift is until page 314 and I'm only on page like 89. So I'll give you some more updates in between. And yeah, you'll probably see some clips from my parents this weekend too, when they visit. So talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so it's time for another reading update. Um, this is my fresh look of right out of bed hair. And uh, so I'm gonna give you guys a reading update on how far I've gotten in The Haunting of Leigh Harker. But first, I have a special guest here to give you a reading update from their book. So say hi to mom. Hello. And what are you reading? I'm reading The Bay at Midnight. It's by Diane Chamberlain, who just happens to be my favorite author. I've read all but two of her books. And, uh, yeah. And how do you feel about this one so far? It's good. I'm just sort of getting into it. I'm only about a third of the way into it, um, but it's a little bit, um, there's a little bit of mystery to it. So it's, uh, it's quite interesting. Very nice. That's good. Um, yeah. So for me, want to hold the mic for me, mom? You just got to hold it in front of my mouth. Like this. <laughs> no, not the camera, the mic. Okay. Mom's going <laughs> to be my interview hand. I am almost done this book, as you can see. Last time I checked in was a while ago. Um, but a lot has happened in this book. It took some twists that I was not expecting. And I really enjoy those twists. So that has made me want to read the book even more. And I'm trying to pick it up at every chance I get. I haven't been able to read too much this weekend because mom and dad are visiting. So we've been doing things. 
but I did manage to get about three or four chapters in. And yeah, the plot is progressing very quickly. I'm very intrigued to see like how this book ends because there's been a lot of setup for certain things to be revealed. And so I'm just like, I'm very anxious to know if the thought pattern that I have is like what's going to be happening at the end of this book. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And I also have one more thing that I get to open, which is near the end of the book. I think it's in page 304 or something like that. So it's coming up and you guys should be able to see me open the last gift for this shortly. But anyways, that's the update for now. And yeah, so I guess you can say bye, mom. All right, I'll check back with you guys soon. Okay, guys, so I just got to the last um, post-it note in this book, which is page 314, and holy crap, this book was, well, like, I'm not done yet, but it's at a very intense part. Um, I don't even know, like, yeah, my mind's blown. This book is wild, but I'm really, really enjoying it. Anyways, so the thing that I'm guessing the object is, is a, it's referring to like a quilt in this part. I don't know if it's a full quilt, but I feel like it might be a blanket because this is the thing. It comes in this bag and it's very squishy. So I feel like it's definitely some sort of like blanket or something like that. But I'm going to open it now and let's find out. Okay, so this is definitely a blanket. I'm going to give you guys like a full view of it. So let me f like unfold it completely and I'll show you guys. Okay, so this is the full blanket. It's Aesop's Fables. And so this is what it looks like, which is actually really cool because she keeps referring to her Aesop's Fables quilt that she has on her bed in the book. And like it's pretty much just like the one that she talks about. So that's really cool. Also, on the other side, it's like this like dark olive color and it's a different material, but it's actually very soft. So pretty cool. Anyways, so yeah, that's that. I'm going to finish the book now and oh, that's a cat ear. <laughs> this is the new guy. Hey. We're not sure what we're calling him yet. We're thinking trouble because it's another like board game name and he also gets himself into a lot of trouble, but we're unclear on that. Anyways, I'm going to try and finish this book tonight. Let's see if I can do that. And if so, I'll have an update for you guys tomorrow with what I thought about it. Okay guys, so it's been a minute. I am pretty sure that I never wrapped up this reading vlog. I have finished The Haunting of Leigh Harker. I finished it like weeks ago. But anyways, I'm going to finish the reading vlog now, wrap it up, and tell you guys how awesome this book is. So you've probably already seen my wrap up at this point <laughs> where I went on and on about how amazing this book was and I'm still thinking about it to this day. So I finished it like a couple weeks ago, still thinking about it. It's so good. I really want to read more by this author. I immediately went on Goodreads and like looked up all her other books that she has. And I went on her website so that I could like find out which ones are like, she has it categorized by like ghost stories, her short story collections, her other horror books. So I feel like I found a new author that I'm going to dive right into and just enjoy all the other books. I mean, this one was kind of an enhanced experience because I got to open up different gifts and stuff that kind of go with the storyline. So that like made it even more immersive. But I do want to read more of this author's work because, yeah, I was just pulled in. I loved it from start to finish and there were a bunch of twists. So that was really exciting. It was overall just a really good book. So yeah, I'll probably end my reading vlog here. I will probably throw in some clips of the cats because, you know, 
I didn't do much else in this reading vlog. I, yeah, it's been slow going for me. I've been doing a lot of working. So <laughs> yeah, not much in the reading department. It's also June and I've read a total of one graphic novel and I'm not even done my first book yet. So June is not going great. My TBR pile is staring at me over there and it's quite large and yeah, it's not going too great. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. And if you want to check out Once Upon a Book Club, I will put the information in the description down below so you guys can get a discount on it if you want. Anyways, if you want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page which I'll put in the description down below as well as links by my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post my videos on Mondays and Thursdays. Until next time, keep on reading.